Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Eric Noonan, CEO of CyberSheet Services International. I'm joined by Andy Schumann, Chief Operating Officer of CyberSheet. A um, lot going on in cyber lately, right? We had the solar winds hearings now, I guess, about two weeks ago. And obviously, there's still a huge response effort underway uh, to that breach. And then right on the heels of that, last Friday or so, we had the news of the latest vulnerability from Microsoft and on-prem exchange servers. And Andy, you know, this really made me start to think about, I'm a big fan of the CMMC uh, maturity model because I think they're controls that actually improve security. And I think that um, companies who move forward with CMMC as a model are gonna be, too th gonna be compliant and more secure. But at the end of the day, being compliant doesn't make you secure, right? I mean, I think we see that with the Microsoft exploit. Yeah, a great point, Eric. I mean, you know, um, solar winds in of itself obviously continually reminds us of what we already know, which is compliance is really not, uh, it's not an option. It's, it's a necessity in order to protect the environment and, and, and the defense industrial base. Uh, but I think, you know, honestly, what the Microsoft vulnerabilities brought out to me as any out of cycle Microsoft uh, update always do is just how simple tasks such as phishing, for instance. Phishing is not necessarily a, 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 a problem where compliance is concerned, but phishing is what I would call good security versus compliance security. So I could, I, you know, I could uh, be compliant with all of the controls in this and CMMC, but I could, you know, obfuscate the need to actually uh, train my employees in, in phishing training such that they would recognize a potential email that might be phishing. Uh, and if we think about that, a simple phishing email uh, and clicking on the wrong place, that can start a vulnerability very, very quickly uh, throughout the environment. So I think the, the one thing that I'd share with our audience today is that it's important to marry compliance security with good security. Uh, phishing is important is that of um, penetration tests. So we're only as strong as our weakest point. And we only know about our weakest point if we continually try and test our environment to make sure that we're, you know, we're, we're protected. So, again, moral of the story for me is make sure as we're doing this that we don't only comply with controls, but we marry that with good, honest security uh, precautions to avoid uh, potential impact down the line. Yeah, I think there's a desire to be done, right? Uh, like, okay, so when I do the CMMC stuff or I implement a security incident event monitoring platform or I make X investment, what am I done in cybersecurity? And I think the answer is there is no end state. You're never actually done. I mean, we, we don't ask HR when they're done or finance or security as a function that supports the businesses like every other function. And the two examples you gave are great ones, I think, uh, sincerely, because you don't have to have a phishing program, tool, technology, process to be CMMC compliant, but we all know it's, I think we heard it at the Solar Winds hearing, it's one of the most popular vectors of attack. And you don't have to have any kind of penetration testing either. Now you could use those tools and, and bake that into your CMMC program, but they're, they're two very important things that I think highlight the point that just because you're compliant doesn't mean you're secure and there's no end state. The pen test you did in the first quarter might be completely different from a results perspective than the one you do in the fourth quarter. So it is an absolute, you know, I hate to say it this way, but it's a managed disease. You've got it and now you need to manage your way through it and, and there is no end state. And, uh, you know, I think, Andy, the other thing that I liked about what you said is the fact that, you know, you mentioned two things that require continuous planning, right? Like phishing campaigns, how are you going to do that, change it up? Uh, the kinds of training you're going to do and pen testing. It requires some forethought on, on the outcomes that you're trying to get and, and outcome based security and focusing on, uh, you know, minimizing risk, I think is is where we should be versus that checklist security. And I'm sure you've seen it, you know, you pass the audit, uh, but then you have an event and you have a checklist that says from an audit perspective, things look wonderful, but operationally, not so much. Yeah, and I think, uh, you know, honestly, um, just, just like in school, as you learn more, you have to, you have to adopt to those changing practices. Uh, all the foreign actors that we're talking about today, they learn and they get more sophisticated every day of every week. 
So I think, you know, to your point, uh, the most important thing is that we have to be agile and we have to continually learn. It is a disease. It's not going away. And every time our assailant becomes more sophisticated, our protection needs to become more sophisticated. So, I mean, I think the, um, the honest answer for us all to learn is that, one, it is a disease, but two, we have to continually redevelop our approach to protecting our environment because our assailants are doing that every day of every week. In order for us to continue being protected, we need to do that. And I've been one and done on, on meeting a compliance and security matrix and then even going through an audit. If, we're, if we do that and then we pass the audit and we stop, we're, our environment is, is only going to detract as, as our assailants become more sophisticated. So true. Compliance ideally should be a natural outcome of good operational security. And um, if you're doing it right, that's the way you can do it. And I think if you're doing it in a way that's very challenging, it's two separate activities that aren't integrated. So thank you so much today, Andy, for, uh, for carving out some time. Thanks, everybody, for watching this quick video. Please go out to cybersheet.com, check out our blog, sign up for our newsletter, um, get Get the information you need to get both compliant and secure. We'd love to be part of your journey. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye.